you know, first and foremost, you know, this show is a show for Black women, right? Uh, you know, it's a show where Black men can see themselves represented on screen. We haven't seen ourselves represented on screen in a long time in a very honest way. And I'm talking about the everyday Black men, men like your brother, like your cousin, like your uncle, your boyfriend, your husband, you know? I mean, television glorifies certain aspects of the Black man, the more extreme aspects of the Black man, but, you know, the vast majority of us are like the guys on Johnson. The vast majority of us, you know, are everyday hardworking guys who are in love, who are trying to excel at business, who, um, who have very strong opinions on, uh, you know, different controversial issues like politics and religion. And we're getting those out on this show. We're expressing those on this show. And you, you get a chance to finally see Black men vulnerable. So I think that's why it's important to, um, to have a show like this and show Black men on, on, on screen. My question is being that this show is about friendship and we're getting to see other, the other side with men. I want to know as the creatives of the show, as well as talent, are there any circumstances or situations that come up that mirror something that has happened in your own life? Mm. So that's the question probably for Eric, because you're one of the creators. Oh no, there's a couple producers. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I can answer that question. Um, yeah, I think uh, this show in general is a collection of life experiences. You know, personally for me, uh, yeah, I think there's several situations in this show that I've personally been through. Um, and I think I can speak the same for, you know, all the guys that, you know, some things are embellished a little bit, you know, uh, some things might be things that I saw, you know, my friend go through or my brother go through. But these are, I, I think ultimately with this show, we wanted it to be super realistic, you know, super grounded and super honest. And so, I think every situation uh, in this show is something that um, we've all either experienced or we know somebody who has experienced it, for sure. We, we, we do, we look out for each other. There's bro codes, just like there's sister codes. And, you know, for us, it's, it's about making sure that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to protect our brother and, and, and emotionally, physically, however we can protect him, that's part of the, part of the game. Uh, I do think this show is going to give women a, an inside look at how we maneuver. Um, I think a lot of the, you know, uh, issues between men and women is that women think men don't open up and we don't have honest conversations with them. So they assume we don't have them with each other, but we actually do. We have way more honest conversations with each other than women would actually think. So yeah, uh, in regards to your question, we definitely protect each other. Uh, you know, we're not out here trying to hurt each other or, you know, uh, intentionally trying to disrespect each other. Um, but sometimes those, you know, those messages can kind of get mis misconstrued, especially if, uh, you know, when you're watching Johnson, you see the kind of how these storylines play out. As far as your characters, what are some of the traits that you um, infused in it that are also from your own life? Keith, as far as, a, as being a character who's got a uh, creativity, a sensitivity to him, a kind of naivety to him. That's definitely something that I could recall from my own, you know, past upbringing, um, social situations. And so it was really fun and almost cathartic to get to explore that part of, you know, my personality, my past, and to see how that really fits into this dynamic of friends. And um, it's, it's, it's like, it's something that, especially with my background, I wish I had these brothers when I was when I was growing up because I felt like, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of like a, a dream scenario for me to be able to play this out because I felt like Keith felt, but I didn't have the backup that Keith had. Mm.